If a deadly asteroid was heading towards Earth, would we be able to knock it off course and prevent an apocalyptic impact? Well, this spacecraft could soon find out. It's called DART and scientists are going to deliberately crash it into an asteroid and knock it out of its orbit, all in the hope of testing our planetary defence systems. DART stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test, and it pretty much does what it says on the tin. In late 2022, this spacecraft will arrive at a binary asteroid currently orbiting just outside Earth's orbit. Then it will smash into one of those asteroids at roughly 24,000 kilometers or 15,000 miles per hour to try and knock it out of its orbit. It's the brainchild of the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, which built the spacecraft to test planetary defense technology. According to Nancy Chabot, the coordination lead at Johns Hopkins APL, the concept is fairly simple, but this technology could one day save the Earth. A lot of times I like to just lead with what the mission is actually doing, which is we are purposely crashing a spacecraft into an asteroid to move it a little bit. But I mean, asteroids have been hitting the Earth for billions of years, right? So that's not new. That's something that we know about, right? But we're getting to the point where we can take these steps to potentially prevent that from happening in the future. And that's where DART comes in. For this asteroid deflection test, scientists have chosen to crash into an asteroid moonlet called Dimorphos. It's about 160 meters or 520 feet in diameter, and it orbits a larger asteroid called Didymus, which is about 780 meters or half a mile in diameter. They're a binary pair, hence the double asteroid in the DART name. Dimorphos orbits around Didymus, and both of them orbit around the Sun every two years. And in that orbit, they go from being out past Mars to coming nice and close to Earth. Well, relatively speaking. When DART intercepts Didymus, these two asteroids will still be about 11 million kilometers from Earth. So to answer your big question, no, these aren't Armageddon asteroids and there's no risk of them crashing into us. But that doesn't mean that we can't crash into them. After launching on its SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, DART will cruise through space using its massive rollout solar arrays for power. Then, when it gets up close in September of 2022, it will use its autonomous smart nav system and an onboard camera to identify Dimorphos and navigate towards it for what's called a kinetic impact. Kind of like a game of pool, one ball knocking into another. But in this game of pool, the dart is a hundred times smaller than the next ball, made of rock, it's flying through space, and it's guided by robotics. Oh, and it's going really, really fast. In order to deflect it even a little bit, you have to be going pretty fast. And so it is going fast. It's going 15,000 miles per hour, right? But that means that like one hour ahead of time, it's 15,000 miles away from an object that's only 160 meters, less than two football fields, right? I mean, and so, and it's actually only in this last hour, even using this great telescope that we have on the spacecraft, um, that it can see as different points of light, Dimorphos from Didymos. Before that, in the images, it just looks like a single point of light. Once the spacecraft gets up close and makes its final corrections, DART's onboard camera will take one picture every second, which we'll get to see back here on Earth. Then DART will complete its final mission, crashing into the asteroid. The APL team has done loads of modeling to see how the impact would go down, based on different asteroid shapes and materials. And the data taken from DART will help scientists to refine these models even more, to know how future asteroid deflection missions might actually work. Okay, the final collision won't be a giant ball of fire like you see in the movies, but at this scale, it's still gonna be pretty cool. Dimorphos is about the size of the Great Pyramids, and the DART spacecraft is about the size of a small golf cart. So basically you're running a small golf cart into the Great Pyramids. Clearly not gonna disrupt it or blow it up into a ton of little pieces, but you know, you might make a dent. The APL team will be watching for how much debris or ejector gets emitted from the impact. 
But big question, if the dart gets completely totaled during the crash, then how will we know the mission has worked? Well, the spacecraft will actually be carrying a small CubeSat developed by the Italian space agency called Lichia Cube. Lichia Cube will separate from DART 10 days before impact and quietly alter its course to fly past Dimorphos three minutes after DART's glorious crash. It'll capture pictures of the ejector and hopefully even the crater left behind. Telescopes here on Earth will also be watching what happens. The impact is only expected to change Dimorphos' orbit speed by a fraction of 1%, but that will be enough for telescopes here on Earth to be able to observe. And hopefully, this data will help us prepare in case a deadlier asteroid comes our way. And not to scare you, but they could be out there. The good news is that asteroids that are a kilometer or larger, we found over 90% of that population, we're tracking those, none of those are a threat in the future. Um, but it's this in-between sort of population of a few hundred meters that really people are focused on for planetary defense as the highest priority. And that's because something like the size of DART's target, Dimorphos, if it was to hit the Earth, would cause regional devastation. It would be tens to hundreds of kilometers um, just wiped out, small, you know, if it was over an urban area, it could be very devastating. Um, and this population of a few hundreds of meters size object, we actually have found less than half of that population currently. Less than half of the deadly asteroids. We only know where less than half are. Yeah, suddenly this mission became a lot more critical. We don't have any asteroids posing an imminent threat right now, but this mission is going to help us work out how we could deflect an asteroid if we detected a threat in the future. And that's the idea behind planetary defense. It's not just about knocking threats out of the sky. It's about tracking objects like asteroids and comets and hunting down new threats a long time before they become a problem. And frankly, that reality is pretty cool. Sure, you don't need to go full sci-fi movie and nuke asteroids out of the sky as they start careening towards the Earth, but if we can detect threats ahead of time and then send up a spacecraft to knock them slightly out of orbit, well, that's enough to change the orbital physics and potentially protect the planet. And of course, we still get a bit of demolition derby action along the way, so win-win. All right, I want to hear what you have to say about the DART mission. Is it as cool as a sci-fi movie? For me, it kind of is because it's actually real. Let me know in the comments below. While you're here, make sure you like and subscribe because we always have plenty of exciting space news just like this to share with you. Thanks for watching.